close your eyes and take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Focus your attention there and then ask yourself, is it comfortable? If long breathing is comfortable, keep it up. If not, you can change. Try shorter breathing, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Try to see what kind of breathing feels good for the body right now. This way you develop good qualities in the mind. And also give the mind a good place to stay. A sense of feeling at home right here in the present moment. This is a practice that's been passed down for thousands of years. It's good to keep these practices alive. Over the course of the many centuries, people have learned a lot, and it's good that it's passed down. Otherwise, we're born in here in the world. We don't know anything at all. It's because of our elders, because of our ancestors, that good things have been done and discovered and passed on, which makes life a lot easier for us. So on a day like today, when we're celebrating the Thai New Year, Songkran, it's a good time to stop and think about what's really important in our lives. And one of them is that we have some gratitude for the help that's been shown to us by the people who've passed on. Part of the ceremony today will be burning their names and dedicating merit to them. The burning of their names is purely symbolic, but really as important as the attitude of your mind, that you remember these people with gratitude. And you think about what they've done. They've given you a human body, and they've taught you human values. Like those five precepts we took just now, those are human values. People who kill, steal, have illicit sex, lie, take intoxicants, they're less than human. They've lowered themselves. They pull the human race down. We see this all around us. So it's up to us to remember what our parents taught us about being good people. It really does have meaning. It's so many times that we think to get ahead in the world you have to lie and steal and cheat. But that's only getting ahead in the short term. In the long term, it's pulling you down. And again, it's pulling the whole world down. So remember the principles that you've learned. You've learned and passed down ever since the time of the Buddha as to what really is valuable in life. And show some gratitude for the people who've passed them down. Without them, where would you be? You'd be a wolf child out on all fours crawling around. But here you are, a human child, a human, human being. Got a human body, and make sure that you have human qualities in the mind. This is one of the ways in which you show gratitude. It's by carrying on these good traditions. So remember, it's, you're not just here alone in the world. You came in a network of people helping one another. Show gratitude for the people who have helped you, and then pass it along. Pass along the good things. As for things that are not good in the human mind, well, you can put those away. When you think in these terms, then it's a lot easier to live in this human world, maintain your status as a human being, and you make the world a better place. And at the same time, you're becoming a, a happier person. So it's good that we maintain these traditions, because they remind us what really is important. As for the date of the New Year, well, you, in Thailand they actually have four New Years. There's January 1st, there's the Chinese New Year, there's the traditional Thai New Year, and then there's Songkran, which is borrowed from the Indians. So you get four chances every year to stop and think, what's important? What do you want to do with your life for this next year? What lessons have you learned from the past year? It's good to stop and take stock like this. That way you keep your thoughts, words, and deeds on course. And you have something good to pass on to the people who come after you, in hopes that they too will show gratitude and continue passing this on.